to know you. That's exactly how Mummy feels. She's not allowed to show it to anyone. Not even you. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff Mummy proves. Off. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Babies die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I gonna get cod liver oil? Cod liver oil. Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some. But he's pretty pissed off at mommy right now. But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is not gonna be fun. I don't make them like you anymore. Well. That was tedious.
Hello. It's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right-o, ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you brighten our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. You are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Fuckity fuck. Where do I get cod liver oil now? Wait. Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the Garden District... He was so mad, but... He could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. I'm so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. Talking to on all the telephones. Strange how fast all the food's going Why off. You take the vanilla. You know it doesn't work for you. How could you? <laughs> I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? 
We used to be Arthur and Sally, the two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After what your mum did. What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. I'm sorry. I, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I really, really... It just, I'll just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here. Sometime. Let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? You can have your cake. Where are the Americans? If the doors of perception were cleansed, we could see everything as it is. Infinite. Hell, I've lost my dollar. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. Hello, boys. 
Keeping us safe? Next walk can't come soon enough, if you ask me, miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. I wouldn't say that where the Sarge could hear you. You lot don't appreciate the general. I hope the general's not in one of his old poor me moons. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle, we weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please. Why the Steyer accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office? Miss Boyle! I oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! Suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but they made everyone so unhappy. Can, can you get us out? I might be able to get her out if I'm very clever, but no, I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I've a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out.
All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the general's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here. If you find it in your first...